World Tarot, this is going to be a reading for the sign of Taurus for the week starting the 14th to the 21st of December 2021. Holy Spirit, show me the Tauruses who need to hear these messages for the coming week. Who are the Tauruses? That was quick. Six of Swords. You might have air in your chart too. Maybe the number six is significant. You could be born on the sixth. You could also have a six life path. Also something about six days. You could be traveling within the next six days. Um, anyway, you're moving into calmer water. Something is better for you. But look on the bottom of the deck, I've got the nine of swords. And you see how it's a bit like the yin-yang symbol there. So you could be going from one energy to another. Sometimes you feel like you're you're becoming more calm. Sometimes you're anxious. So you could be dealing with anxiety. Maybe this anxiety is over um, traveling somewhere. Let's see what's happening for Taurus. So you're either traveling or you're calming your emotions down. Well, lots of people could be traveling in the next six days because it's close to Christmas. So maybe you're traveling somewhere. Maybe you're traveling with your family. You're traveling to meet your family. You're also calming down some emotions, some kind of negative emotions you are dealing with, some kind of anxiety. So what is happening for Taurus this week? What is happening for Taurus this week? Holy Spirit, show me what is happening for Taurus this week. Holy Spirit, what is happening for Taurus this week? Four of Wands. This could be, actually, uh, you could be going on honeymoon, actually. With the Six of Swords and the Four of Wands is like going away for honeymoon. Or you're going to a wedding. Maybe you're going to visit um, some family members to a, to a family wedding or something like that. You could have to travel to go to the wedding or some kind of celebration. You could be traveling for a celebration. You could be traveling for a concert or... Anything like that. Some kind of celebration, wedding, concert. Something pleasant though. Something positive. Maybe a family reunion. Like I said, you could just be traveling because it's Christmas and you're going to celebrate Christmas with your family members, of course. Five of Wands. 45 could be significant. Or the, the, the 4th of May. Maybe you're born on the 4th of May specifically because it's the Taurus season. Or... The 5th of April could also be significant. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries or Aries is, you have Aries placements. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, this is a mother figure. This could also be Taurus, right? I think the Queen of Pentacles is exactly representing the sign of Taurus. So um, this is either you or a mother figure. You might have some kind of conflict with a mother figure. Or if you're the mother figure, you could be having conflict with other family members. Or it could be the, if you're going to a wedding, this could be the, the the bride. You might end up arguing with the bride. I don't know. Nine of Pentacles. This could be a single woman or you're a single woman and or a single man. And this is somebody who's married. So what's the conflict here? What's this five of wands? Also, it could be a Virgo. Maybe you're going to argue with a Virgo. Eight of Cups. So this, oh, you know what? You might go to celebrate with your mother or with this woman who's getting married or whatever this is. And you might end up walking away because this person is going to start an argument with you. Oh my God. Wh who is this person? Who is this queen of pentacles? The three of swords. This could be your own wife or husband. This could be like... Um, they could be having a third party or maybe you're going to catch this person having a third party. I don't know. This could be a spouse, whether it's a wife or a husband. I'm not sure, but this could be your spouse and you might be catching your spouse cheating on you. You'll find out that there's competition over this person and you'll walk away. Is your spouse cheating on you? Is that what I'm getting here? Is this a spouse who is cheating on you? This could also be a friend who might be trying to come on to your husband that's another possibility. But uh, I think it's more likely a spouse that's cheating. Four of Swords. 34 could be significant here. 
So definitely there's going to be a break here because of cheating. You're going to break up with somebody because of this. With the Four of Swords, it could be somebody you already have a separation from. Somebody who's already broken your heart. You might see this person. If you go to this family reunion, you could see this person who broke your heart in the past. Whether this is your mother or somebody's mother or an ex-wife or an ex-husband. You might feel heartbroken seeing this person. So I think this is true with the Ace of Wands. There could be some kind of argument with the Ace of Wands and the Five of Wands. is like somebody sparking a, a fire, right? And it, it ends up in arguments here. So we've got Ten of Cups, family. Yeah, definitely this is a, a family member. If it's your mother, then your mother is going to start the fight. If this is an ex that you're meeting where, wherever you're going, to the celebration, to the party, to the uh, wedding... To the family reunion there's somebody a mother figure could be an ex-spouse of yours that's gonna start an argument with you free of cups so yeah that's definitely a reunion it's gonna be a happy family it's supposed to be a happy family ce celebration but this person might ruin it knight of swords and again you might walk away that's what i'm getting that you're gonna end up walking away from this reunion seven of cups this talks about confusion, also options. You have options, nine of wands. It could be that people are going to jump on top of you. Like they're going to take this person's side against you. Free of pentacles. Okay, the, the fool. Yeah, again, I'm getting that you're walking away from this. That people are going to piss you off and you're going to walk away from them. At this family gathering. Because they might, this could be like a matriarch. This could be, whether it's your mother or some kind of aunt or somebody who is, who has some kind of high ranking in the family. Somebody who is seen as the matriarch of the family and you could be seen as the black sheep of the family or something like that. And this person's going to turn other people against you. They're going to start an argument and everybody's going to jump on you basically. So you're going to just walk away from this. I'm sorry, but that's what I'm getting for, for Taurus here. It doesn't look good, but that's what I'm getting. I'm sorry. Okay, Ten of Wands. You're going to drop the burdens. You're going to drop this whole family. Ten talks about family. King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to stand in your power. Maybe a, a father figure or a patriarch in the family might take your side. I don't know. It could be. Or you're going to be taking your own side. You know, you're going to be in control of yourself. And you're going to remove yourself from this. Anyway. Anything else? That you need to know about this situation. The fool. <laughs> what you need to know is that you're going to have a new... You'll have to let go of all these people. So this is a whole family, a, a whole toxic family environment that you need to walk away from. And be all by yourself, unfortunately. And you might recognize this now for Christmas, you know, for the holidays, which is horrible. Anything else for Taurus? The Knight of Pentacles reversed. Usually I see the Knight of Pentacles as Taurus, so you feel stuck. You could feel stuck. It's like these people are making you feel small. They make you feel insignificant. That's why you need to let them go. Anything else for Taurus? Eight of Wands. And this is the Ace of Cups reverse. Love yourself first. Forget all these people. Take care of yourself. These people might tell you a lot of things that make you feel insignificant. So you need to learn to love on yourself and to forget what these people keep saying to you. Eight of Pentacles. These people could make you work very hard for whatever you do or they, they never are satisfied with the work you do. So you just focus on your own work, focus on your own healing. And again, Ace of Pentacles, see? You might be getting a new job or a new beginning in work. Maybe maybe you're going to start a, no, a new business and this business might not be supported by your family. And maybe that what that's what the argument's going to be all about. I don't know. What's the argument all about? What's the argument about with for Tor six of cups about yeah, about children maybe. Maybe you don't have children or they don't like how you raise your children if you have children. Um also they could still be treating you like a child. They might bring up something from your childhood, nine of swords. They might make you feel anxious. King of Wands. 
King of Wands could be a fire sign that's going to be talking to you about something or I don't know. Maybe a fire sign will take your, your side. What's the argument? They could the, the argument could be about the fire sign. Could be your partner or something. Who is this fire sign? Yeah, this is your partner, two of wands. And the partner could live at a distance. Maybe your partner is a foreigner or something. There's some kind of something they don't like about this person. They're different somehow. So, the, yeah, five of swords. Yeah, the, your family members do not like your partner, I think. Four of pentacles. They might even want to keep money away from you because they don't like your partner. Ten of swords. Wow. It's like these people want to break you up from your marriage or situation there. Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups. They might talk a lot of things about this. I don't know. <sighs> Are they right about your partner? Queen of Swords, yes, they're right. So maybe they are right about your partner. What don't they like about your partner? What don't they like? I think they want you to divorce your partner. Queen of Wands. They don't like... Maybe this partner is too... Again, you see King of Wands clarified by the Queen of Wands. This person could be a flirt. This person could be having multiple partners. Because I, I got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands in the upright. But this is the reason why they don't like the person. So King of Wands and Queen of Wands could be players. They could see your partner as a player, as somebody who is not serious. Maybe uh, they play, uh, maybe they cheat on you with other people, or maybe they gamble a lot. I don't know. It could be different things. So that's what they don't like. They don't like something about your, maybe they're too flamboyant, they're too, uh, they brag too much. I don't know. So we've got two of cups, king of swords. Ace of swords. I think it's true. That's what they don't like about your partner and it's like they want you to divorce that's what they, they their uh, your family that's what the argument will be about they might try to convince you to divorce your partner or to, to separate or not to marry them if if you're already married if you're not married yet okay okay anything else you need to know about this knight of wands with the Knight of Wands, I think it's confirming the fact that this person is indeed a player. And they could be gam gambling away your money or they could be cheating on you and bringing so lots of disease to you. I don't know. Six of Wands. With the Six of Wands, this person could be very popular. They could be even a bit famous. The person that you're talking about. They're in the public eye somehow, I think. With uh, so many Wands here and the Six of Wands... Yeah, this person's very, very popular. Three of Wands, King of Cups. Yeah, they're very attractive. Five of Pentacles. This person could leave you alone a lot. So maybe you're going to go without this person to this family gathering. And that's why they're going to talk so much about them. Because they won't be there. Because maybe they're doing... They could be traveling for work or for something else. And that's why... That's the problem here. That's what they don't like about him. Five of Cups, and you might feel sad, you might feel lonely without this person. You might be you and your child, if you have a child, because I'm, I'm getting the vibe that this could be someone who already has children with this person. Six of Pentacles, and you might be very burdened by taking care of the children while the other person has other things to do elsewhere. And they could also be cheating. So they might tell you that they travel for work when they're actually cheating on you. That's another possibility. Or maybe they are actually traveling for work. But when they travel for work, they also do other things that are not the best. And you're always left uh, to take care of the child by yourself. But I think you really love this person. So it's hard for you to let go of this person. I don't know if... Is there anything else that Taurus needs to know about this? 
and like I said, these people are right because I was shown that they are right to, to say these things about the person. They're not just talking uh, for the sake of it. Okay. Holy Spirit, do you have any advice for Taurus regarding this situation? Is there any advice for Taurus regarding this situation, please? Holy Spirit, what advice do we have? I, I don't like how it came out. I, I don't I think I just kind of like relax too much. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna shuffle a bit more to find out what's the advice for Taurus, please. So the advice is free of wands. Wait for your ships to come in. Be patient. I mean, maybe you know. If you travel to meet these people, be patient and listen to their opinions. Don't jump to argue with them. Just find out to see what exactly they really believe about this. Right? Okay, what else do you need to know? Eight of Wands. Again, communication. 48 could be significant. Maybe you're 48. Also, the 8th of March or the 3rd of August could be significant for somebody. This person could be a Leo that you're dealing with. The 3rd of August is in Leo season and I got a lot of fire energy for this person and Leo in particular. And um, the 8th of March is in Pisces season. Maybe something will happen in Pisces season. Or this person could also have Pisces in their chart. What is your advice regarding this situation? So you need to wait, be patient and communicate. Patiently communicate something. Who are you supposed to communicate to? Who are you supposed to patiently communicate about something? I felt like something was tickling my foot and there's nothing near my foot. That was weird. My right foot. Eight of Cups. About walking away. So are you meant are you supposed to be walking away from your partner? Is this what it's telling me that you're advised to walk away from this partner? Yes. The fool is a yes, two of wands. You might need to relocate also. You need to make a plan on how to walk away from this person. Six of cups because you have children with them. And you need to do what's best for the children, I guess. So, apparently, yeah, and for you too, obviously. Six of Pentacles. You might need help for this. You might need to ask help from your family members. Knight of Pentacles reversed because you might have financial difficulties. Maybe this person is the only one who's making money. Ten of Swords. Knight of Swords. You need to walk away. You need to end it and walk away. This person could also be uh, gambling your money or... Even if they don't, uh, this person is not good for you, apparently. That's your advice here, that you need to walk away from the person. And you might need to ask these family members to help you. Nine of Pentacles, you need to become independent. Anything else? Anything else? Ten of Wands, drop it. Like, yeah, you, you, it's like it keeps telling you to drop the relationship, to drop the person that you're in a relationship with, this possible fire sign. If it's not a fire sign, it's somebody who's very popular, somebody who gets a lot of attention, somebody who could be traveling a lot for work. Two of Cups, look at that, Two of Cups. But you see them as a soulmate. I think this person is a soulmate of yours. But you still need to drop them. Or if you drop them, you'll get a better relationship. What's this Two of Cups, please? Let's find out what the Two of Cups is. Is the Two of Cups a new relationship? Is this another relationship? Five of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a soulmate of yours, but you're in, in very poor conditions. You're living with this person in, in a very... You're together with them, but you're either unhappy or you have no money or, you know, th this is not a good situation to be in because it's two people here, right? In the Five of Pentacles. They're together, but they're together in the cold. They have a lot of hardships. This person could have a lot of karma. And you could be taking on their karma. So you need to drop them so you can drop the karma. That Yeah, and again, the Seven of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. So this person's cheating on you. Or they're gambling. They're gambling away your money. Or they're cheating with other people. They're giving money to other people. And that's why you don't have enough money. There's something happening here. There's something wrong with this person. Even though you love them, even though they, they, you might find them very attractive or you care about them a lot, 
they're not good for you they're not healthy okay so what else do you need to know about this person what should you do what should you do about this what should you do four of wands queen of pentacles this is about taking care of yourself finding maybe again you might be getting another relationship if you leave this one a better one if you focus on yourself if you heal yourself if you focus on your finances so you can have a celebration so you could be celebrated so you can have better days basically and you might get a better relationship like i said if you walk away from this one who are you going to have a relationship with so also if you leave this person you might get out of poverty because this person could be like i said they could be um, throwing away your money knight of cups okay so you're gonna get a love offer maybe for from somebody who is could be younger than you with the knight of cups here who is this person that you're gonna get a love offer from could be a water sign not necessarily younger or somebody who is single right because you 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 are already married and could have children that's what i'm getting here so this could be somebody who's single coming towards you who is this okay queen of wands Knight of uh, could be another fire sign i don't know queen of wands or somebody who finds you who sees you like the queen of wands someone who sees you as very attractive so it could be a water sign or a fire sign who is this person again fire so both the queen of wands and the the fool are also aries both of both are aries so i think you're with a leo or, or an aries already and you're gonna get another aries coming towards you another fire sign i think can you trust the new fire sign three of pentacles you're gonna have a family with a new fire sign or you might work with them maybe this is somebody you work with already maybe you know who this is or it's somebody you're gonna be working with nine of cups wish fulfillment this is your wish fulfillment here this could be somebody who's uh, happily single definitely i'm getting single this person's definitely single king of pentacles but they won't be anymore They're, they'll want to marry you they want to ha give you stability you see you're the queen of pentacles once you become the queen of pentacles you leave the current relationship which is not serving you and become the queen of pentacles you're going to attract a, attract the king of pentacles somebody who is your real counterpart is uh, ready to have a good relationship with you and somebody who is single definitely king of swords somebody who's also very rational very respected with the king of pentacles and the king of swords this could be somebody who is highly respected and powerful okay anything else ten of cups four of pentacles you're holding on you're still holding on so you need to let go first in order to have the ten of cups with this person here so there is something better coming for you as long as you let go of what you already have here four five six look at that all pentacles six of wands you're gonna have a victory here in love victory in love there you go and this person will really love you so that's the message for taurus i hope this helps take care